In this video lesson, you will discover how to paint a seascape in watercolor. Here is the artwork that I will get by the end of this lesson. This seascape is quite simple. It is just before sunset, the sky is reflected on the sea, and there are a few details on the foreground. Let's begin. We will start with the composition drawing. This sketch is almost invisible. The actual drawing will happen later when I do this with a brush in watercolor. For the warm part of the sky, I use yellow ochre light and I add a little bit of cadmium orange. Cadmium yellow can also be added to the mix. You can see that on my palette, the warm mix consists of two areas, a bit warmer on the left-hand side and more yellowish on the right-hand side. I add a little bit more cadmium orange as well as cadmium red into the sky to warm up the color. At the top part of the sky, I add the ultramarine pigment. You may notice that I do not apply brush strokes to the very end on the right hand side. This is where the sun is and I am suggesting the sunset by painting this way. The edges of the clouds can be highlighted with cadmium orange. These highlights represent the sunset. Here is one good tip for painting a sea. Make very fast brush strokes and leave some gaps between them, leaving white paper untouched. Such gaps will suggest the existence of white waves. The sea waves are not totally white. They also have casted shadows. To depict those shadows, I use the mix of ultramarine, cadmium orange, and dark green. In order to make short brush strokes, you don't need a lot of water on the brush. According to the rules of aerial perspective, the objects which are further away from the viewer appear colder, so I add more cold ultramarine. I also add reflection into the sea by making a few brush strokes with clean water so that the paint can easily run in this wet area. In the middle ground, we have another stretch of land. Because it is closer to us, I have to make its contrast sharper and the color darker. I am using free and wide brush strokes to fill in the space of the beach. I am using loose brush strokes not to describe the rocks and stones, but to suggest them. I can now do the finishing touches by adding smaller details here and there. However, such details should be an addition, not the purpose of the artwork. 